Hi Sagittarius, Narai here, going to do a reading for you guys. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Bismillah. So please know to take what fits and leave the rest as this is not a personal reading. I have already shuffled the cards. Ooh. Mmm. This has to do with your beliefs, your traditions. This could be a marriage card for someone. It might have to do with your beliefs on love and relationships. And it could be, it could have to do with how devoted you are in the relationships that you are in. Or how you address your feelings. It could even be how you display your feelings. The way that you care for people. Oof, yeah, because in the past you've been hurt. Or how you have cared for people has led you to be hurt with the Ten of uh, Swords. I have the Four of Cups. This is a, a person being unhappy, feeling like they missed out on something. Wow, yes. So in regards to you, this has to do with transitions, the six of swords. It also has to be, uh, have to do with moving on to calmer waters. If you may be reflecting on your, on your past relationships and how you've done things and realize that moving forward, moving forward, um, that when it comes to how you handle things, you have to change your approach, possibly. It will lead to your happiness. It could potentially impact your happiness, lead to your happiness, affect your happiness. Yeah, because in the past, you've had sleepless nights. That's not something you want anymore. Anxiety, sleepless nights. What is this? Ooh, if you take a moment and change, if you take a moment and, and think about your past relationships and the relationships you've very, really, really been hurt in and how much of yourself that you have given and how much of yourself uh, that you have put out there and how the other person may have behaved or treated you, you will realize that if you change certain aspects of it, you will open yourself up to not just love, of course, we're, I think we're always open to love as humans or meeting somebody, it's always possible, but you will open yourself up to meeting people and dealing with people that are going to treat you the way that you want to be treated. One moment. Do you hear the bird? And the reason I say that is because if you focus on self-love, so I'm not, I'm not here saying that you do not love yourself, Sagittarius. What I'm saying is When it comes to relationships, a lot of times people loosen up their rules. So think of how you feel about yourself and how you say you want to be treated when you're not in a relationship and make sure that you hold on to those same things when you are in a relationship and don't bend your own rules for someone else to make someone else comfortable. I feel like if you focus on 
excuse me, if you focus on the self-love and the self-respect and making sure people treat you the way that you want to be treated, there's not going to be an issue. The issue is when you bend your rules and allow people to treat you the way that they want to treat you. Make sure people treat you the way that you want to be treated. And then if they do not, be able to move away from them. It's, I feel like it's better for people to cut the cord early in a relationship than it is later. You also want to make sure you and the person have the same morals and values. The same core beliefs when it comes to relationships and what's important. And also, being attracted to somebody is not enough. Having sexual chemistry with somebody is not enough. If you and the person are not on the same page. This came out in a reading already. I swear this came out in another reading lately. But this has to do with you not conforming to someone else's beliefs, staying true to your beliefs and making sure that the person that you were with shares those same beliefs because people bend for people. And so what, oh, I dropped a card. And so what ends up happening is one person is giving, 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 and another person is taking, taking, taking because somebody's bending. But what you need to do is be sure that you stay grounded. Make sure that you have support, you feel supported, you have that security in a relationship, but this also has to do with your money. This has to do with your money. You may be right now focus, um, focused on your money, the money that you're making, your financial security, your stability, and the things that you want to accomplish. And there's nothing wrong with that. One or two more cards, please, Spirit. I'm looking at two Taurus cards right now. The Hierophant and the King of Pentacles. And... I have a page of wands. There's limitless potential for you. Ooh. Trust your intuition when it comes to people. It's okay to want to be um, adventurous and, and meet new people, but trust your intuition. Listen to that inner guidance. You can find your wish fulfillment. You can have success. And then I have justice. Make sure you're being treated fairly. Make sure you are being treated fairly by whoever you are involved with. Because if not, it can lead to heartbreak. It can lead to heartbreak. So make sure people are treating you fairly that you're involved with. And this doesn't even just have to be romantic. This just has to be in life. And what's next? Ew! The lovers. Make sure you're being treated fairly by somebody. And it can really turn into something. Because a person that really cares about you is going to treat you fairly. And they're also going to... Be mindful of any boundaries that you have and, and issues that you have and care about how you feel and what you think about the relationship and also about them. But this could also do with you possibly having heartbreak if you make the wrong decision or choose the wrong person. But I feel like it's more of a warning in regards to, um, excuse me, in regards to making sure people treat you fairly. That's going to allow you to meet somebody that's going to treat you the way that you deserve. A loving, kind, safe love. 
with a divine counterpart, possible soulmate, somebody that makes you feel balanced, somebody that feels like home. So I'm going to leave you with that, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.